Hello guys, Crispy here, welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, I'm going to be testing the RX 580, as you can see over here in MSI Afterburner. This, by the way, is the XFX GTS version of this card, so it comes a little bit overclocked out of the box. Here on the core clock, it's set to 1366 MHz, 2000 MHz here on the memory clock. I pushed the power limit to plus 20% just to achieve these clock speeds, otherwise it wouldn't be stable. I am running, as usual, a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM. This is the 8 gigabyte RX 580. You don't need this CPU to not bottleneck the RX 580 in Apex Legends. Apex is fairly well optimized in the CPU department, uh, not very well optimized in the GPU department, but yeah. So a Ryzen 5 2600 or even 1600 AF is absolutely capable of not bottlenecking this GPU. So I'm going to be testing this one out at 1080p uh, with low, medium, high and ultra settings. I am gonna be leaving the texture streaming budget over here on high just because some of you have the 4GB variant of the 580 and you can't increase the textures here to insane for example. But yeah, textures don't really impact your frame rates anyway so I'll leave it at high just because it looks good. Everything else set to low right now and let's get into the game. And here we go my friends, as you can see our FPS are above 60 here in the spaceship so that can only mean one thing. We're gonna get 60 plus FPS uh, down there all of the time. I'm gonna land there. I'm sorry guys, okay uh, Yes, yes, please. What the heck just happened? What? That thing makes sound? Okay guys, so compared to season 3, of course I didn't test the RX 580, but I saw a very big FPS drop with the RX 570 earlier today, so I am expecting it to run like 15% faster than the RX 570, which should be good, you know, for a high refresh rate experience, sort of. Wow, that's good actually. Okay, let's pick up a few things over here, and let's go. Our little spot over here, which is pretty much the most demanding spot of the entire map gets us 80 fps yesterday i think we got like 70 to 72 fps with the 570 so 80 fps is not too bad over there you know that's pretty much the lowest that it will go to here throughout the entire map so not that bad of a result but of course it's not a 144 fps experience all of the time at least so we got a little stutter there let's go to the uh, little city with the lava and stuff. I actually enjoy the graphics here, or the lightning at least, because the graphics are the same, I think. <laughs> but I enjoy the lightning system that they introduced here into this season, way more than season 3 or the seasons before it. As you can see, it looks really decent, you know? Usually it did look kind of bland. The colors, of course, popped up a bit more in season 3, but yeah, this is kind of more orangey. But it still looks amazing here. Uh, it still looks amazing. No, it's, it looks way better than season 3 in my opinion, of course. So let's just run around a little bit here uh, around the city. I think we're getting, yeah, like 20 more FPS than the RX 570. So that's what you should expect uh, when comparing these two cars. As you can see, there's lava in the middle of the city. It looks pretty damn good. Uh, yeah, I, I like this, okay? So the epicenter is much closer to the city as well. Well, that's what we saw with the RX 570, of course. That was the first time that I played the Season 4 update here. And so far, guys, I gotta tell you that it's completely playable, as you're probably aware of by now. Uh, you can run a high refresh rate monitor without a problem here with the 580, but of course you aren't really gonna get 100 plus FPS all of the time, for example, which is very unfortunate, for example, in earlier seasons, I think it will be able to get those sweet 100 plus FPS all of the time, but right now the map has a ton of more details and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna hide myself somewhere around here and change it to medium. Can I go like there? Uh, 117 FPS on average, 1% lows of 80 FPS compared to the RX 570, it's not a big uh, increase. With the 570, we got like 107 FPS on average and 72 FPS, 1% lows. Of course, it's a little bit noticeable, especially uh, when you're closer to the 80 FPS mark. Okay, so medium settings are now applied. As you can see, with the high texture streaming budget, still everything else is sort of like in the middle of the slider. Some things are enabled, some things are disabled. Whatever, let's just go ahead and start counting our FPS. I think we're gonna die, guys, because our squad's already dying, you know? What the heck is he, by the way? 
Okay, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, where is he? There he is. Come over here, boy. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do this, my friends. Okay, I really need to go to the epicenter, by the way, so we can see our minimum FPS. I'm just gonna go there, buddy. I'm sorry to leave you. Oh, 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 oh. There's Gibraltar there. I'm just gonna put this down, actually. Oh my gosh. Please. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. We're good. We're good. I guess we're good. Let me just see the explosions and stuff. No, uh, never mind. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's just move here. Right, so we're at 96 FPS average and 75 1% lows. It has been smooth so far. If you have a 75 hertz monitor, I guess this is the way to go. Maybe. Oh boy, that's outside of the circle, but let's just move here. We can do this. We just gotta believe we can do this. Okay, so, all right. Here we are, my friends, at the most demanding spot in the entire map. We're getting 65 FPS. I think with the 570, we got 60, so it's it's pretty much the same thing, weirdly enough. <laughs> so yeah, around here, 90 something FPS. I don't remember how many average FPS or 1% lows we got with the 570. I think the 1% lows were at flat 60 with that card. This one, however, is at 64. It, it's just a very little increase over the 570. I was expecting a little bit more like 15% more, not like 10%, I would say. It's a really small difference. We got a little stutter there once again. Okay, 60 something. We're dropping into the 60s over here. That's not too good. But of course, if you have a 60 hertz monitor, yeah, that's fine. That's completely playable, completely like unnoticeable compared to low settings, I would say. But I do have a high refresh rate monitor, so I can tell the difference between like 70 FPS and 100 FPS. So this is way less smooth, but it's it's still very, very playable. Obviously, you would have no problems playing like this. You know, I was expecting more coming from the 5. 80 but I guess this is life right <laughs> oh boy that makes no sense but yeah can I get my thumbnail here actually Ooh, that that is sweet isn't it guys that's a sweet thumbnail right there friends let's go let's go to our little building over here that I liked so much back in season 3 I heard somebody yep okay okay we got into a bit of a fight now. There's no turning back. Oh, I hear somebody like there. No? Oh, he's there. Oh my god. Okay. 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 This is not my end. I don't want to die right now. Uh, oh. No! No! Okay. <laughs> yep. I shouldn't have messed up with these guys, guys. Uh, all right. So that was it. <laughs> 94 FPS on average, 64 FPS, 1% lows here on medium. Still a very smooth experience, obviously. You could still utilize a high refresh rate monitor without a problem, of course. Okay, here we go. High settings across the board. These are the high settings preset that I test. Of course, the game has no presets, so I have to choose my own settings, and I chose this to be high. Okay, here we go, my friends. On high settings, we're getting like around 40 something FPS up here. I don't think my squad's gonna drop there, so we're gonna go alone. I'm sorry, squad. I hate to do this, but you chose not to go with me, so whatever. Yeah, we're getting like what? Five more FPS than the 570. These two GPUs are closer than what I expected here in Apex Legends, guys. It's weird. Oh boy, there are quite a few dropping there. I'm just gonna grab this balloon and go there to our spot. Please, can I do this? Please. At least nobody dropped there with us, so we're fine. Alright, so yeah, we're, we're just below 60 FPS right now, which is okay. Not too good, but not bad, considering that this is high settings, of course, and the game is pretty demanding nowadays, which is a weird thing to see, because, yeah, they should probably optimize it, but nope. They just get it more and more demanding, so yeah, that's just Apex for ya. <laughs> So here in our spot, we are getting 60 FPS. So this is where you should start seeing the difference between the 570 and 580. As you can see, our minimum FPS is like 60 or 59 right there. And on high settings with the 570, we actually got like around what? 
52, 53, I don't remember properly, so I'm sorry guys, but yeah, we definitely did drop from 60, so uh, that's very, very noticeable. If you want high settings gameplay, you'll be above 60 FPS all of the time with this GPU, the 580 of course, and with the 570 you gotta drop it to medium to get that 60 FPS 1% low. That's starting to be more noticeable, the difference between the two when you get closer to that 60 FPS mark of course. Sentinel, this is a new weapon actually. What the hell? B to charge. How do I... What is this? What? Can you utilize... What the heck is this guys? This is awesome. <laughs> I just spent a shield there, but this is amazing. Look at that. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Wow, that's insanely interesting, actually. I have no clue what it does, but it is very, very interesting. We're still getting above 60 FPS. I think with the 570, we dropped into the 50s around here. So it's good to see that it's performing well here, of course, above 60 FPS. 61 right there. Very, very close to the uh, 50s, but uh, it didn't drop into the 50s, so that's fine. Yeah, it seems like the lava here in the middle of the map is very intense because whenever I look at it, the FPS drop right away to like around 60. Anyways, it's still very playable with a like $150 card or even less than that $120 card like the RX 570. So I'm not bashing it too hard, but I don't like to see performance drops in like every single season. Okay, all right, I hit one of them. I would like respawn to like uh, do so something about the optimization here in the this one my friends we're doing this boys we're doing this very smooth fps here not bad at all we got a little stutter there for some reason should we go with this i'm gonna go with this oh oh oh, oh no 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 no! i shouldn't have i shouldn't have okay i'm good i'm just ah god damn it okay we're still good we're still good we're still good i'm just gonna utilize this oh my god that was close no 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 okay i got him <laughs> There's another one. Oh, 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 no. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? <laughs> nice. Very nice. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. I should probably heal myself. Right, guys? Let's do this. Oh, oh God damn it. Okay. Oh, no. I'm dead. All right. So, right, guys. So, ultra settings across the board. As you can see, everything is maxed out except for the anti aliasing and the texture, of course. Uh, oh, my God. I think, yeah, my team is down. I am the jump master now. We can go there. Finally. Okay. Ultra settings. Let's just drop right away, I guess. Ultra settings. 53 FPS, pretty much the same uh, minimum that we saw on high with the 570, I think. Uh, I don't recommend you to play on ultra, of course. If you want that 60 FPS experience, just play on high. If you want high refresh rate experience, of course, play on low. Uh, yeah, that's what I'd go for. Medium settings is okay, but yeah... I don't know, man. There's two types of people. Those that want quality and those that want uh, higher frame rates. Oh my gosh, I missed everything. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have done this. Okay, I got him. Nice. And it was the last one. We did a good job, guys. Finally, I did something useful for my team. Okay, here we are, my friends, at 70-something FPS. It's still very playable if you have a 60 hertz monitor and don't mind a few drops here and there into the 50s. It's still good, but of course, as I told you, I recommend high settings anyways. It's It looks pretty much the same, to be honest, and it, it just gets more FPS, gets 60 plus of the time, which is what you should be aiming for, of course. So, yeah, around here, looking at the lava, we should be dropping into the high 50s, exactly, mid 50s, okay, so that is quite a surprise, actually. Oh my god, oh my god, I shouldn't have done this. Oh, my boys are here, okay. Alright, I got the shields off of that guy. Where are they? Uh-oh, our revenant is down. Alright, I, I don't have anything. Hey, 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 Avok. Go with the Avok. What are you doing, boy? Alright, we got this. I'm gonna revive you, buddy. Oh, I'm hearing steps this way. Not sure. Yes. Alright, got him. Finally. Let's revive our Revenant boy once again. Oh, I, how did that all miss? What the heck, guys? Alright, I'm gonna use this now. 
Uh, oh my god, okay. I actually double shifted there because of Modern Warfare, you know. <laughs> Alright, that was a bad idea. I should have waited for my boys or I should have shot the guy actually, you know. <laughs> Gibraltar is shooting at me. What? Another squad? No, maybe not. Oh, we, we just lost. Okay, so 71 FPS on average, 52 FPS moves and lows. Not bad, actually. I was expecting a bit worse here on Ultra. And yeah, the 580 impressed me a little bit here. But of course, in previous seasons, it was a whole of a lot better. So I don't like that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, I love you all. Bye-bye.